The seven Samuel. I messed up that whole line. Virgo. What's up, guys? I have so many questions. I don't know where to begin. Let's start with the research I was doing. So, is it true about the river of galaxies? I have to know this. The expanding universe? Okay, expands uniformly in all directions according to the Big Bang Theory. But then, we discovered that the universe not so uniformly at all. That, in fact, there's a river of galaxies heading off in the direction of Virgo. A massive flow of galaxies being sucked into one direction. Completely at odds with the Big Bang Theory. All over the scientific community, people were freaking out. Then, a few years ago, my colleagues and I, we called ourselves the Seven Summer. We discovered that a massive great attractor is pulling a quarter of the known universe. A 200 million light year region of space at the speed of two, one point two million miles per hour pulling it? Why? What's out there? Are they giving away immortality? Is it something really bright and shiny? Is it something musical? An astronomical pie, piper hauling a quarter of the universe known mass in one direction? I mean, how good can it be? Or is it something sinister? Is it something out there eating matter? Is the universe flat? Should we fear like the sailors of equity the horizon, because there's a point which we can't reach, a falling off point. I have to know this. What's up, y'all? It's her. What's the word? Y'all just watched my video. Um, I took that video yesterday. I, I didn't take it, but my actor teacher, my acting teacher, had took that video, and it was a group. It was my classmates or whatever you want to call them. My classmates, I had to look them like directly in the eye. Like we all telling our story of what what happened to us. So it's almost like a therapy section. Basically, that's what it seemed like to me where everybody telling their story, something happened to them. And you know, something happened to me when I was eight and I finally get the chance to tell my story and I'm trying to see what happened. So, um, just giving feedback on myself, because I'm still a beginner, you know. Um, I was talking real fast, and it don't even seem like I was talking that fast, but it seemed like I was rushing through it. Like, I really was trying to get through it. I was like, man, I hope I remember the next line. So, with that, yeah, um, I have to not rush through it because it kind of don't sound believable. It looked believable to me, but to other people, they're going to be like, nah. Um, also, you know, I was looking down at the paper, so I need to have, you know, my lines memorized more. You know, um, I had learned that in a week or two. I think we've been doing that for two weeks. So I had to, I had to really learn that like ASAP. Um, yeah, but... All the other stuff, like my hand moving, my movement, my body language, like I have to make it sound like it's something I've been researching for so long 
and I'm very interested in, which I'm still trying to, you know, I was still trying to get into that character. But how can he make this sound like he really into it and make people understand, you know, where I'm coming from? You know, I finally get a chance to tell my story and I'm really trying to get answers, you know. This is something I've been researching since I was little. I never paid attention in class because I've been so caught up into, you know, what happened to me when I was eight? What was in the sky? Like, what came down on me? And, you know, you know, I was crying for my mother's name, you know. So that's feedback on myself. But the, the thing that I caught the most was I was talking too fast to me. Like, I was saying... Kind of find out, da, 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 da. like I got to slow it down a little bit, and I ain't think so, you know. So, anyways, that's all I had to say, man. I'm getting better and better. I feel like I'm getting more confident because it's kind of weird, you know, getting out my comfort zone. Like I'm not used to that. My heart be racing, and when your heart racing, it's hard to, it's hard to speak without your voice shaking. You know what I'm saying? Like your voice be really be, you really be shaking. Like the people that be kind of nervous, you know, everybody be nervous and having goosebumps and stuff like that. They know what I'm talking about. That's that's majority of everybody. Like everybody human. So it's gonna come. But some people got it worse than others. I feel like my voice get a little get a little shaky. Like it sounds like I'm a little shaky now. But that's because I'm running out of breath right now because it feel like I haven't stopped talking. I've been talking for about four minutes right now. But anyways, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I'm going to keep on doing acting videos, monologues, you know, scripts, scenes, whatever. You know, I'm going to keep it coming. So anyways, it's her. What's the word? I'm out here.